new video uh, in this session we are going to talk about the SWOT simulation I have made a lots of video before this too in this topic in as uh, I am remembering that uh, I have made a video on uh, up to swell map preparation after that uh, I am not able to make a video on that topic now I am going to continuing that uh, topic and completing the course of that topic now for that as I have already mentioned I have done a video of to soil map preparation after that uh, I am going to show you about the LULC uh, land preparation and how to prepare a text file of it and first of all for that I am showing you here arc interface RGIS interface and I am adding the uh, LULC map that I have already prepared and if you don't know how to go with the uh, LULC map you can watch the video there are lots of videos on the YouTube channel which one you will prefer or which video you can easily grab or you can take it you can take that video to learn the LULC map and for that now uh, before running the SWAT simulation we have to prepare all our data uh, to UTM UTM zone so I have already done it and I have prepared a folder for it too and you can see it I have already done it here you can see it here this is the LULC map and you can see it uh, we have here values with the count and we have to prepare our text file being based on these values uh, we can see it here too Mm. Uh, my file is here and you can see it I have prepared sorry I have prepared a text file over here and you can see it mm, I have prepared my text file uh, like this and you can see here and you can see it here according to this value we have prepared a text file like this and uh, don't go in a wrong way in that sense uh, like uh, you have been using these values and randomly using commas and this uh, punctuation mark it will make a, you a uh, lots of change and you it can make a lots of even while computation so be careful about that now after preparing the llc and the text file uh, you can simply uh, check the projection and all things set then only you can proceed uh, towards the uh, this arc SWAT setup project setup or then after that uh, uh, water set delineation and hydrologic response unit and writing this uh, this uh, SWAT input table or the database update or edit uh, SWAT update then at the final step we will gonna do SWAT simulation now now after this uh, what we are gonna, gonna do is that we have to be very careful while uh, project setup and now I am showing you how to set up a new project for a SWAT simulation and while going for that you can see it here uh, we have to set up a project here first and now while setting up a project you have to be very careful that your uh, working folder is not so that uh, depth or it is not in the so deep directory so for that what we have to do is we have to save it in the first level fire folder just uh, here I will show you how to save it I am going on the F drive and then saving it here you can see it here I am creating a new file and I am saving it as SWAT PRJ you can simply click it OK or after creating that you can simply click it and click OK then it will show now automatically other will save in that project directory folder 
and then click ok now after this so that the project setup is done and after that what we will need simply add your raster file for water set delineation projected raster file then another important thing is that we have to prepare our all raster file in the same geographical extent and uh, in the same projection now we are running a what automatic water set delineator and as i have already um, loaded in my rgis interface i am selecting from map or you can select from your disk to uh, here we can add like this now if you want to edit from or load from disk you can simply go like this and go to your file folder and select it and edit now after this just check your spatial reference whether it is in uh, utm projected zone or not and just check your unit of z now after that just calculate the flow uh, direction and accumulation it is not a new process as in the normal case too we are going through these steps uh, in normal case while delineating a water set too we are we uh, go to the hydrology tail and we you do first flow accumulation flow direction creating stream network and outlet then fixing that uh, uh, outlet point and then creating a water set delineation or water set basin now we will go through same process over here too you can see it here it doesn't take much so we are going to click simply ok then we can see it here our threshold limit is like this and i am gonna simply keep with 500 hectare over here now I am creating just flow accumulation first of all and now I am going to creating a system network you can see it here it has shown a lot of network over here here now after this we have to check our which output or the outlet we need to make or the as a main output here are lots of outlook output over here now i am going to delete all that and i will edit manually and you can see it here there is a delete point and for deleting we have to go and select like this raster now i have deleted all point now i am going to do right click stop editing now again i am going to and i will be adding nearly like this now i am going to add nearly six output for for practice or showing you how to simulate a SWAT after this I am doing just right click and stop editing and I am going to save my edit now you can see it I have set my outlet also now I am going to set my main output you can see it here whole water set outlet that means main outlet like that this is my main outlet it after that we are going to delineate our water set simply click on it here now in the screen you can see that said delineation is done now i am not cutting or doing any change in my video as you can see uh, the time taken to load it or doing it so you have an idea if you are doing it for first time 
now after that we have to calculate the sub water set basin parameter now if your study area is too large or doing a, um, lots of calculation it will take lots of time and if your study area is uh, small you don't need to check this checkbox as my study area is also uh, small i am not going to check it right now i am going to now calculate the sub basin uh, parameters and here what i am going to say is or what i am going to tell you is that you can if you have uh, discharge information or other necessary information or sediment it or the discharge you can edit over here i will show you that too as i haven't any information on that i am not you can see it here it is successfully done and it is extracting water set delineation clean up you can see it here it has extracted information now you can see it add or delete reservoir you if you have any reservoir information or any information you can see it here now for this session i would like to end my video here and more video will be coming on this topic about uh, what are said the hydrologic response unit writing input table it's what it is in in the SWAT simulation in coming days uh, please stick with us for now I would like to end my video. Thank you everyone. Keep watching.